Okay. Um, operations. Four of them. What are they? Okay, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. These have the same rules as fractions. For example, if I'm going to if I'm going to add one half and one fourth, what do I have to do before I can do any addition? Common denominator. So the common denominator of this is going to be four. Okay, one half is how many fourths? Two fourths, and so my answer is three fourths. Are the rules the same with subtraction? Yeah. Yes, addition, subtraction must have common denominator. Are the rules the same with multiplication? No. We found out yesterday and the day before when we multiply radicals, all we do is multiply the two numbers that are underneath the radicals, just like you would do fractions. Okay? So, example. Can I add those? As they are? No. What do I need to do to check to see if maybe they might have something in common? Okay. Look at them just like we broke them down before. Can I break down the square root of 12 into something? Yes. Yeah. I can. What can I break it down into? Okay. Square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Okay. Which is what? Two square roots of 3. Now. Now, do they have a common radical? Yeah. Yes. What is 2 square roots of 3 plus the square root of 3? 2 square roots of 6. Nope. 2 square roots of 9. Okay, watch this. When we added, when we added, when we added, seriously? <laughs> when we added, did we add the common denominators? No. No. So one of the reasons why we needed a common radical is so we would have a common radical in the end. So let's think about this again. What's 2 square roots of 3 plus the square root of 3? 3 square roots of 3. Some of you, sh hold on. Some of you look at square root of 3 and you don't remember that that's 1 square root of 3. Okay? There's always a 1, at kind of like the x thing. We don't put a 1 in front of the x, but we know it's 1x. Okay? So anytime you see something and it doesn't have anything in front of it, if you struggle with that, put a 1 there. Okay? I think if I would have said 2 square roots of 3 plus 1 square root of 3, most of you would say 3 square roots of 3. Okay? Now, can I break that down any further? No. This is my final answer. If I take square root of 5 plus square root of 3, they're not common. And I can't break either one of them down. So my simplified answer of this is just the question itself. I can't do anything else. Again, no such thing as prime. No such thing as can't be factored because we're not factoring. Yeah. Uh, so can you get the answer like that? Uh-huh. Could you just like simplify it instead of writing it out again? What do they want in the book? Uh... Yeah, if you wrote simplified, I'd be okay with that. If you wanted to write it's already simplified or just simplified, I'm fine with that. Margo? If you had a square root of 5 plus the square root of 4 and you took the square root of 4, which would you do? Would you just... You would have to, yes. Like square root of 5? Yes. Yep. Wait, oh, I get it. Okay, let's look at... Um, look at one like this. And let's throw some some crazy fun numbers up there. Okay? Try that one. 
Okay, I've just broke down the radicals. So square root of 9 times the square root of 2 is what? 3 square root of 2. 3 square root of 2. Now, what do I do with this 2? And But what do I do with it? So what is 2 times 3 square roots of 2? 6 square roots of 2. So I'm going to even put this in parentheses here and put the 2 outside of it. So that's going to give me 6 square roots of 2. Bring down your sign. That's a plus. Square root of 16 square roots of 2 is what? Oh. What's the square root of 16? 4 square roots of 2. And then I'm going to put that in parentheses because I also have another 2 to multiply. So what does that give me? 8 square roots of 2. Okay. Bring down my next plus sign. What's the square root of 36 times the square root of 2? 6 square roots of 2. Do I have anything I have to put in parentheses for that one? No, because there wasn't anything out in front. So now I add all three together. What is 6 square roots of 2 plus 8 square roots of 2 plus 6 square roots of 2? 20 square roots of 2. Okay. Yes. Why did you I multiplied these by two because they had a two out in the front at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> okay. So when I have three square roots of two and two square roots of six, what do I multiply first? The numbers. The numbers okay. That are outside the radical. Three times two is six. Now. What is the square root of 2 times the square root of 6? Square root of 12. Again, I don't have to have common radicals. I just multiply them. Am I done? No. no, because I can simplify the square root of 12. How do I simplify the square root of 12? Okay. And what is the square root of 4? 2. two. Now, don't forget the 6. Okay, remember, especially if Grace wrote it down, did you write down the 6? Yeah. Yep, so we multiply by the 6. So what's 6 times 2 squared to 3? 12 squared to 3. 12 square, 12 square to three. Make it costly. Please come to the office. Make it costly. Okay. Do you recognize right away, what are these? Parentheses. Well, parentheses, but what's inside of them? Okay, they are binomials, which means we're going to have to FOIL, okay? So we're going to have to do first times first. What is 5 square roots of 2 times the square root of 5? Five? 5 square roots of 10. First, outside, inside, last. terms if I learn how to spell foil. Okay. What is 5 square roots of 2 times 4 square roots of 3? 20 square roots of 6. Positive or negative? Positive. Now I'm going to go to my inside terms. I notice I have one negative and one positive, so I'm going to go ahead and just bring down my negative sign. Okay. What is negative 3? times the square root of 5. Negative 3 square root of 5. And I need to erase this over here. It's going to look yuck here in a minute. I don't want it to look yuck. All right, and then I'm going to go my last terms. What is negative 3 times 4 square roots of 3? You guys sound like machines. Negative 12 square roots of 3, Mr. Renault. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now, sh do any of them have common radicals? No. Do any of them have radicals that we can break down further? Which one? The 6. What? No. None of those can be broken down any further. Okay, so this shh, is my answer. Okay, look to see if they have common radicals. If they don't, look to see if you can break any of them down. If you can't, put a box around it and move on to the next one.